Good morning. I'm praying for a little March Madness magic today. March 19th, it's a tournament on Watts Bar. I've never been to this section before. I never fished it. I, I drove by here a couple days ago, scouted out the area, decided I was gonna come up here and put my kayak in, way up on the river part, um, sorta. And I think I'm gonna catch some fish. I think a lot of people are gonna catch fish today. It's that time of the year where fish are starting to bite. I think it's gonna be a fun day to fish, so I'm here right at just time to start, so I'm gonna get started fishing. All right, I feel like there's a good chance that I'm gonna get some fish right away. Don't know if they'll be biting all day. I think they'll be biting right now, I don't know. It's gonna be cloudy all day. Only like 55, so it's not really cold. That would be perfect. A little windy, a little choppy. There we go, there we go. I don't think it's a big one. Don't come on, I need to get started. I went the bass. Oh, it's a skipjack. Oh, and it came out. Well, we're 40 minutes in, just took the skipjack. Not what I need today. I definitely need, uh, I need five bass actually today's a bigger tournament there's bigger stakes thousand dollars to the first place winner there's a lot more guys in it. there's more than 60 people i think in this tournament and it's a five bass limit so i've kind of been messing around for 35 40 minutes here at the mouth of this creek thought i'd get a fish right off the bat you know every time i show up somewhere i think i'm gonna get a fish right away there's a lot of action going on, but it doesn't look like it's largemouth or spots or something. So I think I'm going to go start exploring. I got to get into exploring mindset where I can just have fun with it. Let's go up this creek. Just, uh, I don't know, at least we'll have something to go look at. Howdy, walking across the bank over there. Just walked into the woods. I've come up this creek. It's supposed to narrow back up. It's really shallow through here, like two foot. Oh, I got a bass. Looks little. I caught a bass. I was working my way out of the creek, turning the camera off. Just started making some fan casts. Caught a bass, might be a keeper. Oh, he barely made it. Fish number one goes right at 12 inches. So just big enough to be a keeper. I couldn't get him to go 12 and a quarter, but that's my first one. Like I, like, I don't know if I said earlier or not, but I gotta have five keepers today. So five fish over 12 inches is um, the limit on this tournament, which there's a lot more anglers in it. There's a few different groups fishing together. It's uh, nine o'clock, I think, so first one. I caught that in this flat area, so it kind of was, I think, I thought those fish maybe up in this, like more shallow area. So I may just keep on casting, fan casting around, and they may be cruising up through here. At least that's one. Dude, something followed it and hit at it as I was reeling it in. Ugh, what was it? Man. That's something follow it. Oh, this is not the start that I had dreamed of. I haven't figured nothing out 
Got that one fish on just a cast out in the middle. So I'm back out here at the mouth. This is where the river's at. And the water does have some flow to it today. Um, I'm thinking about just going down. There's a big long bend right there. Just float down through there, fish that bend. When I get down there, I'll paddle across and kind of come back up. There we go. I got the fish. Stay on, stay on, stay on. What is it? What is it? Come on. Oh, it's a big drum. Well, it'd been nice to be a bass, but it wasn't a drum. Not the catch that you're going for, but it's always exciting when a drum hits. Then you get disappointed. But let's take a look at him since this is my only second fish I've landed. But the old Watts bar drum, pretty common. There we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, would have been nice. Would have been nice for a bass. All right, let's get back to bass fishing. What is this? It's like a little running water in over here. Oh man, that's kind of cool. Maybe there's a fish over here. Oh dude, there's... Probably cold water. Water flowing out of the cave. There's gotta please be something over here. Yeah, I've already fished one area for about four hours and got one 12 inch bass, so maybe there's something else over here. Is that a fish? I just hooked a fish. It's a little one. Oh man, be 12 inches, please. Oh, and it came off. This has been a horrible day. It's one of the second bass I've seen. And it came off. I don't, he may have been 12 inches. He may have been less, so I don't know. One thirty nine. I wasn't recording. I just had a really good hit and it came off. Never got to look at it. It took me around for just a few seconds and it came off. Oh my goodness, this day keeps, it can't go worse until, until you lose a fish and it makes it worse. Oh my goodness, okay. I got less, I got just over an hour left to fish. Is that a fish? Or did I just get snagged? No, nope, I wasn't a fish that time. Switch to a red crankbait. I gotta at least get one, another fish in, maybe two. Ah. Very frustrating day. Oh. This is, I just lost one. Then I got that one. I don't even know if he's 12 inches. 
Maybe there's some fish on this ledge. Maybe I can get some kind of pattern where I can just put together, somehow get five. Hopefully this guy's long enough. Please be 12 inches. I really wish whatever I had lost a minute ago, I would have saw. Not even gonna make it quarter inch short. I think that there's one that I did lose. I think it was probably about the same size then. I don't know. I just want to catch a couple, then you finally get one and he's not even long enough. All right, there was two hits off this ledge, so maybe there's some fish on here. That <laughs> water is rough out there. Fish, little fish. Feels like one. Come on, stay on here. Get the fish. Is it big enough? I think so. So stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Okay. I'm finally getting on some fish. That's the fourth hit in less than an hour, and the day is almost over with. Man, if I'd have found this place earlier, or I don't know. That wind ain't no joke. A little smally. Number two. Oh my goodness, with a tree. Holy cow. Wind and boat. Fuck out of the place. It could happen to anyone, and it happened to me. You could be the next victim of March Madness Sadness. It really all started just a few days before my tournament. My favorite team, Kentucky Wildcats, were a two seed playing a 15 seed in the NCAA tournament. I love the NCAA tournament. I love college basketball. Kentucky's my team. And some of y'all already know that Kentucky lost in overtime. Boom, there you go. You're on top of the world. You're ready for a good tournament run and you lose to a 15 seed and it's just terrible. Well, that was on Thursday. Friday, I had a basketball game against my high school team. So me and a few of the staff people from the school played a basketball game. Guess what? We lost by one point in overtime. I can't believe I let my team down. I tried to do my part, but um, we didn't have a lot of basketball players on the team. And you know, I'm getting older and slower. So yeah, we lose that. Saturday morning, I get up and I am pumped for the kayak tournament. I was so excited. I thought, it was, I thought it was time, it was March, it was getting warmed up. I thought the fish would be hungry. Two hours in, I hadn't got a fish and that's where it all started going downhill. If you notice in the video, I didn't put a lot of effort into my catches and the talking and I just, I really just got bummed out and was just frustrated and you cannot get frustrated in anything, you're in any kind of sport or especially fishing, you just, you just have to do what you do and just stay calm and carry on I just knew everybody else was out there catching fish and I'm getting nothing. I fish all day, I lose a couple. I finally kind of figure a little thing out at the end, but I'm, I'm probably going a little too fast and pushing it. And then at the end of the day, I get 36, I think, out of 61. T come, come to find out only 12 people had caught a limit that day. It was a five fish limit. Only 12 people actually caught a limit. So it wasn't like I was the only one struggling, but I just knew it was only me. I'm the only one out there doing bad. So I wasn't even gonna make a video out of today. And then I was like, no, I have to. I have to show these videos too. I am human. I struggle. I have bad days and I have bad weeks. So I, I just kind of been frustrated. You know, it was just like a bunch of things leading up to that. Also, some of my videos weren't doing as great. I thought this was gonna be happening. And you know, even though I get to do what I do, I get to not even work a real job. I make YouTube videos and go fishing. I, it still gets frustrating because things don't work out the way I want. I still have goals and expectations for my videos or how I want to go out and do fishing. And you know, and then you know, it all comes back around to man. I'm just thankful that I'm here. <laughs> thankful to be alive. Thankful that I get to do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this off with a verse that maybe someone needs to hear, I definitely need to hear. And it's, it's actually one I don't understand all the way, but it's in the Bible, I'm gonna read it. It's 1 Thessalonians 5.18. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
It is so hard to give thanks for everything. It's so easy to complain and whine about any little thing that doesn't go in my way. I'm complaining about a, a, a kayak tournament where I, I spent $50 on the tournament and I got 36, you know, you know, that's not a big deal. There's so many people don't even have a chance to have a kayak tournament. Um, so I'm definitely thankful even for losing. I mean, I don't know what's going to come out of it or that my team lost. Um, maybe I, I didn't do as well as I wanted to when I played basketball or when I was fishing, but sometimes it's going to be serious things. Um, big time things that, and the Bible still says, give thanks for them. There's a reason these are happening. And there's a reason that the God let that happen. I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that watches these videos and supports me. I think I have a bunch of videos going to be coming out soon. The weather really is breaking and I've actually had a few couple good fishing days since this tournament. And uh, I'm just excited to be able to have this chance to go out here and fish. Hopefully do a little traveling around, find some fish in these creeks and streams and do some kayak tournaments and just have fun with it. Thanks so much.